ready? Let's do this. Good morning, El Diamante! What's up? Good morning, Team Miners. We're your new hosts. My name is Jake. My name is Gus, and this is Ed, Ed Hughes. Hughes. Let's kick this St. Patty's episode right with Ed Hughes News. Good morning, Miners, and welcome back to Ed Hughes News. I'm Megan, and let's get right into the news with Trent. Seniors, if you are interested in auditioning as a musical performance for graduation night, June 1st, please sign up in the Student Services Office by April 9th. Hey Miners, if you're interested in taking online summer school, sign-up sheets are now in the Student Services Office. The classes that are available are World History, U.S. History, and Civics and Econ. You must have a 3.0 GPA or above to be eligible to take these online courses. Transcript request forms are now available in the Student Services Office. Please fill it out, give to Ms. Davidson, and allow two to four days for it to be processed. Hey ladies, interested in dance? The dance packets are now available to pick up in Student Services Office, and they are due March 15th, the day of the audition. If you have any further questions, go ask Ms. Scadden. Seniors, Ms. Bittney is hosting an ongoing scholarship workshop in room 605, Mondays and Wednesdays, from 3.30 to 4.30. Hey minors. The applications for officer elections and leadership class are available now in student services or in room 601. The deadline is March 15th. And if you have any further questions, ask Ms. McKee in room 601. Caps and gowns will be delivered to seniors who have placed an order on March 22nd in homeroom. Back to you, Megan. Thanks, Trent. And that's all we have for you this week, Miners. See you next time. So, Gus, what sport do you think is most related with St. Patrick's? Well, let's see. Um... You know, back in like Ireland or like Scottish or whatever, they always have like the the log throwing oh, games yeah, and the yeah, hurling yeah, yeah, pounding. Yeah, find the clover, you know. Yeah, yeah. good stuff like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's check in with Better Jake and Elias and see what's going on today. Miners. Hey Jake, finding any luck? No, can't find a four leaf clover. Well, maybe you can wish for one. It's worth a try. <laughs> Let's go check out some highlight miners. Last Wednesday, the track team had a meet against Larry Western here at home, ending with a score of 142. Our track team took first in most of the events against Western. Their next game is this Friday at Redwood, and be sure to wish them luck. Last Thursday, the El Diamante swim team went up against Hanford here at home. All four teams won against Hanford, and be sure to support them next week against Redwood. The El Diamante varsity tennis team won Wednesday's home conference match against Mount Whitney by a score of 5-4. On Saturday, the varsity softball team played Selma and won 5-2. The girls have a game on March 22nd at Mount Whitney. The boys golf team had their first league match this Monday at Hanford. Our boys beat Hanford with 407 strokes total, the top three scorers being Jared Hernandez, Cutter Ayers, and Carson Ferreira. So did those highlights bring you any luck? No, but I have this dandelion and maybe I could do it correctly. See you next week, miners. So, Gus, you used to be in entertainment, right? Um, yeah, I was actually, yeah. Oh, a lot of things. Yeah, what happened there? Um, they... They didn't, they didn't need me. Gus, they didn't need them. Okay, let's see what they have going for us this week in entertainment. Vivian, if you're watching this, I'm dead. I know you weren't expecting this, 
But it is what it is. But I have one thing you can do for me. I have some suspicions on who killed me. One, Israel. And I just feel like he was always jealous of me. You know, my good looks and everything. Second and third, Spencer and Reese. I think they just saw how much better I was at hosting. They decided to kill me. Eh, I have something they can do. Avenge me. Find them and kill them. Just make sure not to die in the process. <laughs> so, when you killed him, how was it? It was pretty easy, I have to say. So, like, did you use a knife and, like, or did you use a gun and, like... I got a metal wire, got in the back of his car and choked him. I would have crushed his skull. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Who are you? Me llamo Viviana Calderón Hernández y mataste a mi papá. Prepárate para morir. What? dangerous women you shouldn't have come here but I'm glad that you did you messed with the wrong family Tomb Raider you can't be too careful these days the world has gone bloody mad I'll take two experience it in IMAX Gus I have an inspiring quote for you this week three four-leaf clovers is better than one four-leaf clover quick maths Oh my, oh my, oh my god. That's good. No, no. Oh. You like that? Oh my god. No, that was, that was bad. That was really bad. But, you know, we should probably check in a creative company to see if they have something even more inspiring than Jake over here. We live in a wonderful world full of beauty, charm, and adventure. There is no end to the adventures we can have, if only we seek them with our eyes open. Part of being young is not exactly knowing why you do some of the things that you do. It's by exploring your life, experimenting, making mistakes, and learning from them, hoping that you start to forge an identity. One's destination is never a place, but it's a new way of seeing things. Clips of the week. Yeah, Clips of the week. Clips of the week. Yeah. Clips of the week. 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 Clips means St. Patty's. I mean, I could dress up. I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. Get out of my car! Aww. Oh! Get out of my car! Uh -huh. Get out of my car! Uh -huh. Get out of my car! Get out of my car! 
time I'm in the street, I I'm in my mum's car. Boom, boom. Where you from? Broom, broom. Get out me car. Thanks, Kim, for liking my video. That was successful. That was like, yeah. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> Hey, I'm uh, Jake. Have you seen Nolan around lately? Uh, no, love to. That boy's been rarer than a four leaf clover, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, um, let's just see what Nolan has planned out for this game. <laughs> Whoa! What are you. That. Yeah, that. That. Jake, how are, you, how are you seeing life right now? Everything is green. I'm in such a St. Patty's mood. Right, that's great, Jake. Yeah. Let's go kick it with Kelly and the way we see it. Hey, miners. It's Kelly. Welcome back to The Way We See It. The winner of last week's photo theme contest for rainy weather is Tiana Sines. Please report to Jiraki's room to claim your prize. This week's theme is senior year. Show us your highlights of your senior year by DMing or tagging at LDFacet on Instagram. Winners will be announced next week. Thank you, Miners. Have a great day. Hey, it's me, Nolan the Leprechaun, and I'm here today to tell you about how to St. Patrick's Day. Look for gold at the end of the rainbow. How long is this rainbow? And don't forget that awesome Irish music. Yo. You took a my part of the gold! St. Patrick's Day is known for its nice ice cold be I mean um soda. Pinch people who aren't wearing green. Yo, guys, last week, did you see how Link Crew handled all those little drill stories? Oh, you mean like all the little kids that you don't... All across campus, dude. Wow, they that's like campus. <laughs> Crazy, man. Yeah, but let's see what Link Crew has to offer this week. Hi, Miners. I'm Aviana Mancio, and I am a Link Crew leader this year. Um, currently, we are accepting applications for Link Crew leaders next year. There is an informational meeting on March 14th from 3.30 to 3.45 in the library. Um, the only requirement is that you are an incoming junior or senior for next year. We hope to see you there. My plans for St. Patrick's Day are to hunt for the pot of gold under the rainbow. My plans for St. Patrick's Day, I'm probably going to go to Ireland and uh, chase leprechauns around.
I feel lucky knowing my friends and my family. I feel lucky knowing my mom, my dad, because they're such beautiful parents and they're great people. I feel really lucky knowing Michelle, so I can be on FU's. Yeah, I do think they are real because uh, I've seen one before. I think leprechauns are real because <laughs> it just is. I plan on showing my green by going full out, like painting my face and putting glitter on my face. I plan on showing my green by wearing a green hat and wearing all green clothes. Yo, message from AP Lit teacher Papa J Rock. Creative Writing Club this week. Let's see what he's got to offer. Hello, my name is Megan Arroyo, and I'm president of Creative Writing Club here on campus. We meet in room 603, Mr. Jiraki's room, every other Thursday at lunch, and we also meet after school every Tuesday from 3.30 to 4.30. And I'm here to make an announcement that we will be starting our new literary journal, GEMS. This week, we'll be accepting admissions for the journal, and we're accepting all types of art as well, even though it's a literary journal. We're including short stories, poems, also pieces of art like paintings and pictures and photography, and we're even thinking about adding animations as well. So if you're interested in adding any submissions to this, because this is a school-wide thing, you don't have to be part of the club to submit. If you want to submit, just go to room 603 and drop them off there. Thank you guys so much for your time. That's all we got for you this week, Miners. <laughs> you guys are going to be stuck with us for the next four shows. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. We'll see you next Wednesday with another lit episode.